Texas Pet of the Week is brought to you by the Houston SPCA, but first a successful adoption story. As you probably know, the Houston SPCA opened their new campus for all animals one year ago, and since then they've been able to help even more animals in need. Well, Zach was brought to their campus through their transfer program, and that's where he caught the eye of Corey. He's good looking. Yeah, and Corey says Zach, now Bruno, is such a cheerful little pup who loves long walks, lots of treats, and playing with this fur brother. Oh, choosing pet adoption means pets like Bruno get a second chance at a happy life. Oh my gosh, what a handsome dog. Very happy ending right there. And Julie Kenstall with the Houston SPCA is here with little Lilo, a few months old and seems like maybe a full chihuahua here. I, I think so. I mean, look at look at the ears, look at the eyes. <laughs> the shake. The shake. <laughs> oh, Lilo is precious. She's only four months old, so she's still pretty much a baby. <laughs> but you know, chihuahuas go, they're not gonna be that much bigger. Right. So, you know, if you're looking for a small puppy that will grow into a small adult and that you will have for a long time, come see us. We're, we're here until 7 tonight and then, of course, open all weekend. You want to watch the Astros game. And right. Yes. First. Exactly. What I love about her is, like, she does definitely have the chihuahua shake, but look at her smile. She's totally grinning. <laughs> She's yeah. kind of like Yoda-esque with the ears with going the ears. out to the yeah. side. She's so precious and ready to go. That's the important thing. She did. How did, how did she come in? So she was owner surrender. So okay. the person felt like they had way too many dogs, so they did the right thing and um, the responsible thing. And I always say no judgment. No judgment, no judgment. indeed. Thank you for um, loving this animal enough to surrender and um, giving us the opportunity to find a good home. And she's had her surgery. She's fixed and ready to go. She had her surgery a day or so ago. These days, it doesn't take long for us to prepare an animal for adoption. And so, yes, you get the whole package. And, um, yeah, a Look, partner to watch the game with. Abs, a little snuggle bug. And she's happy, too. I think some people see the chihuahua shake, and they think that maybe the animal is nervous. But during commercial break, she was you're fine. playing with her, her tail's wagging. She's, no yapping. Seems like a very happy dog. No, no, no barking, no, um, you know, they, 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 Every animal's got their own personality. I mean, True. I hate to put, you know, breeds in a box, but um, she is, uh, she was a lot of fun. This I was, can't. This was her. her I can't her even. Kid. Are you <laughs> kidding me? She is so cute. This video is ridiculous. She's selling herself immediately. She was covering her eyes with her little paws. Oh, my gosh. And she's microchipped. Don't forget, that's super important to get your, mic your pets microchipped. Yes, thank you for bringing that up. And please make sure you put your information. The correct in. information. And if you move, yes. update it. Yeah, and then put a friend who's maybe out of state. Eight. So if we're in an emergency like Harvey again, we can contact that person if we can't get a hold of you just to say, hey, we've got your pet. Great she information. Is safe. That's good advice. I didn't realize you could add more than one contact yeah. info in there. Julie, it's great to see you. Yeah. Thanks so much, Lilo. Good luck to you. As always, if you'd like to learn more about pet adoptions, you can log on to their website, HoustonSPCA.org. Thanks, Julie.